Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another Jaspies Hit Parade high-end multi-sport mixer. Nine boxes, random team four. Uh, everyone gets a spot, uh, everyone gets a football team, baseball team, basketball team. We comboed up some of the football teams so it's, gonna, it's a 30 spot break. A lot of nice stuff in here. Our college rules apply. We've got a pretty experienced group right here so I think everyone's familiar with that. Right, if, there's an, if it's someone in their college gear, if they're active, they'll go to the team they're currently on, right? So like, if it's Kenny Pickett in his college gear, he'd go to the Eagles, right? If it's a retired player, we'll, uh, we'll send that player to the team he played for the longest. We'll use the different reference sites, basketball reference, football reference, baseballreference.com, and we'll use seasons as, as stated by them. And if, if they're tied, we'll use like games as tiebreakers so on and so forth. There are the combos right here. All the teams are in for uh, baseball and basketball. One dice roll for all of those lists. Good luck. Two and a two for the hard way. Your name's first. One, two, three, and four. So we're just going to randomize your names once. So we got Brian down to Karen in the football section, baseball and basketball section. And then two and a two for the hard way for the uh, football teams. One, two, three, and four. Got Rams down to Bills. And then we'll, we'll go through all of your teams and make that font a little bit larger as well in a second. Two and a two uh, for the baseball teams for the hard way. One, two, three, and four. White Sox down to Braves. And then two and a two for the hard way for the basketball. One, two, three, and four. We got the, the C's down to the B's. All right, obviously, if you pause the video to see your teams, make sure you, you come back live. In fact, hopefully everyone will do a, just a quick double check to make sure you're watching live. You're at the current point of the stream. Click that live button. Don't be a laggard. All right. Um, here's the first half of the list right here. Just to preserve the voice, I'm not going to read off all these names and teams. And here's the second half of the list right here. So you can see Mark with Last Bot Mojo with the Chargers. All right, so let's alphabetize by team. And you can still see uh, Mark with the Chargers right here. All right, baseball section. First half of the list right here. Second half of the list right over there. Mark, last bot mojo star, has the Seattle Mariners. Alphabetized by team, and you can see he still has the Mariners right down there. And finally, the basketball. Let's clean up this spreadsheet right here really, really quick. So there's the first half right there. Second half right there, Raptors for Mark, last spot Mojo. And then you can still see Last Bob Mojo, Mark with the Raptors right there. So there you go. I'm going to pause the video. If you want to trade, you got to trade within the specific league. So uh, you can't trade a basketball team for a football team, but you can trade basketball for basketball, baseball for baseball, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to pause the video. Oh, this is also a good opportunity for you to uh, let me know if you need to see your teams again. I can shout those out for you as well. All right, so we're going to pause the video. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so your lists remain the same. TWC trade window closed, so the football section remains the same. The baseball is now officially printed out. Everything's the same there as well. 
And here's the basketball. Um, so this is random team four. Random team five is our last mixer in this configuration. So if you want to run this back tonight, I'm, I'm definitely down. All right, so let's keep this. I don't know where I'm going to keep this. Don't have enough room for this break. All right, we're going to do the cards first. So we got two of these boxes right here and no knife. Got my knife right here. All right, so first one out of the gate. I'm gonna switch to football section here is Christian McCaffrey. Nice, three color patch on card autograph, 24 out of 25. That is from uh, 2019 NT football, that's strong. That's gonna go to Brian in Carolina. Nice start. Graded card. I always like graded card. Saves you the trouble of having to get it graded. And it's gonna be Jordan Love. Rookie patch and autograph from 2020 Panini Illusions. First impressions auto, 85 out of 199. Had a great year last year. I hope he keeps it up. Be good for the hobby. PSA 9. Keeps that momentum going that he's built last season. Green Bay Packers. That'll be for Lucas in Green Bay. Now we're switching over. It's a multi sport break, boys and girls. I'm gonna switch over to baseball. A little Hip Parade collab with Jaspies. Thanks to Hip Parade. Graded card. It is Matt Olson. Wow. From back in 2013, Bowman Chrome, Matt Olson. Blue Refractor, PSA 9. A's edition. 25 out of 150. I think he's having a great season too. Ryan Heinz, Oakland A's. Oh, there you go, Lucas. Yeah, that's right. You got Jordan, Wisconsin. Go Jordan Love. All right, another graded card. It's an eight five ten, and it is Aaron Judge from twenty nineteen tops on card autograph. The centering edges surface are a nine, corners are an eight, and it's numbered one out of twenty five. That is strong. Yankees, John has the Yankees. Won that spot in the filler, got randomized. The New York Yankees. All right, now let's start working through these. Let's, uh, let's stay with the baseball theme. Here is 2024 Hit Parade Series 2. Just wanna make sure I got the right one. Yeah, Triple Play Series 2. Let's see what we got here. So as you may have guessed, deduced, there are three items in here. All right, I'm just gonna 
just gonna grab stuff in the order and just however I see it. Let's pull this first. Now here. Anyone guess that guess that auto? Most of you should be able to get this one. And if you notice the number, number 34. It's a custom jersey, so I'm not gonna pull it out of here, but I'll leave it in the bag, but the auto definitely authentic. This might give it away right there as well. Big Boppy, David Ortiz. All right, and that's gonna go to Stephen K, Boston Red Sox, nice. Oh, and then this includes a little card that tells you about the different certificates of authenticity that Hit Parade's using, so. Thanks to them for that. Uh, let's do eight by 10. And that is, Everyone knows this. Old Cub. Mark Grace. That'll be for Daniel and the Cubbies. And the autographed baseball. This is where we're gonna use our no checklist rule, unless there's like a team stamp on here or a particular event stamp. And that auto is Jorge Mateo. And Jorge Mateo is currently with the uh, the Orioles, stolen base leader in 2022, good fielder as well. So that'll go to the O's, and that's going to go to, it's going to go to John. All right, empty box. Nothing else in there. I'm actually going to put these items back into this box. All right, let's go with let's go with another three. Another three items in here. This one will include a. Uh, Basketball as well. Usually, unless they replace it with a jersey. Hoops fans, good luck. Again, you'll you'll have that, all that information right there again. Brown paper. All right, we got a jersey up top. Let's do the jersey. It's an authentic jersey as well. That's the way it goes. Any guesses there? This is another custom jersey. Um, that is going to be...
Jalen's. Oh, maybe. Well, it says custom jersey. No, it looks like a. It looks like a. A uh, an official jersey. Yeah, this is officially licensed. Jalen Smith. Pacers. It's got the the Nike retail tags on it. NBA logo, man. All the size stuff right here. So nice, official jersey. I'll refold this nicely uh, after the break. Pacers. That's gonna go to. It's gonna go to Steve H. Uh, was that? I guess that was a little try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. He had Wizards and Pacers up for trade. Some more brown paper out of the way. There's the basketball right there, but let's grab the eight by 10 first. It is gonna be nice old Laker legend, Michael Cooper. Cool. Right, let's give him some shine here. That's a great photo. Nice little sky hook there. That's going to go to the Lakers. Eric Clicks with the Lakers. I think he does I think he does some local sports here in LA now. Fan favorite, fan favorite. All right, basketball. Usually they put a little sticker inside the box that'll tell me who it is. They have not done that. So obviously this will go by the no checklist rule. Sometimes they put it on the inside of this drawstring, but no, nope. all right. This we'll just have to figure it out. And sometimes they put it on the bottom of the box. It's on the bottom of the box. I know who it is now. Although this guy's autograph might be familiar to some, especially if you are of a certain age. This guy was pretty popular. It's gonna go this way here. Everyone, everyone know this autograph? I think, that's right, the Iceman. Some of you of a certain age may have had a, that famous poster on your wall. I think he, did he play for the Spurs his entire career? For most of his career, for 12 seasons. Of his, uh, of his, what, 13 seasons, four, 15 seasons. But it's the Iceman, George Gervin. That's going to go to the Spurs. That'll be for Eugene. There you go, Eugene. Okay, it looks like, uh, is this an official basketball? It's authentic series basketball. Where's the, there's the authenticity sticker right there. Nice. All right, let's set that. I'll pack all that stuff up nicely a little bit later. Let's move on. Let's stick with basketball since we've got the basketball loaded up. Right, Eugene with that no trade mode. So this is just a single basketball in here. Checklist is a little mysterious. Who knows what could be in here?
Is Wemby on the sell sheet for this? That I don't know. So we'll see this on camera, right? It's not going anywhere. All right, since there's just only one item in here, I will do a little game of who am I? All right, so uh, I play for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen seasons in the NBA. Um, how, how am I going to do this? Not, not give it away. I can't give you nicknames. Well, he was a former first uh, round pick, seventh overall. Started his career in Sacramento for a few years, then went to Memphis for five seasons. That's where he's going to go. Miami for a few seasons, then Orlando. Uh, the nicknames, Showtime, Duck, The White Shadow, White Folks, J. Will, J. Dub, and his most famous nickname, White Chocolate. One of the best handles that I've ever seen. There's few times... A lot of like street ballers, right? Can uh, can can make a lot of great moves, but that's rarely executed in the NBA. It just doesn't work, you know. Jason Williams is one of the one of the guys that that could actually make that work. I think his autograph goes this way. Oh, actually, this is actually going to go to Miami. My apologies, Memphis. This is the only time that trumps that no checklist rule is if there's a clearly, you know, a stamp that tells them where this ball is going to go. So there's the authentication sticker. There's that. There's the 15 strong. Nice little basketball. You got the 75th anniversary. City edition Miami Heat basketball as well. Nice. So Miami, that's going to be for Eric Clicks. There you go, Eric. That's right, he did. Forgot about that. Yeah, him and Randy Moss played together in high school. What a team. All right, let's go, uh, yeah, let's go football helmet and then baseball bat. A little, little noisy, but let's. There, so this is a VIP edition series one. All right, and of course we'll play a little, uh, let me just get things set up here. Let me play a little Who Am I? Rex is saying Freddie Peralta has 10Ks in six innings, pretty crazy. 
I think he's a strikeout pitcher though, right? Wouldn't be that crazy if he's a if he's considered a strikeout pitcher. All right, let's see. I got the name on the bottom of the helmet here. Let me look that up. Yeah, Freddie Peralta, I mean, he's already had an 11-strikeout game, a couple seven-strikeout games, a few eight-strikeout games, so. So, yeah, not that crazy, Rex. Let's not get too crazy using throwing around the word crazy. All right, who am I? I am a defensive end from Arlington, Texas, 6'4", 272 pounds, play for only one team my entire career. A defensive player of the year, a three-time first-team All-Pro, five-time Pro Bowler, a PFWA All-Rookie Teamer, in college a unanimous All-American first-team, All-American two-time first-team All-SEC, I might narrow it down a little bit, went to Texas A&M. In my NFL career, 305 tackles, 88 and a half sacks, I didn't really have that many sacks. 17 forced fumbles, five fumble recoveries, 16 pass deflections, one defensive touchdown, and a former number one overall pick out of Texas A&M. Who am I? Not Deacon, active, active player. He was drafted in 2017. Sportport's got it. Yep, Miles Garrett. This is a sweet looking helmet. I, I think these might be authentic helmets. Not game used, but I think this might be, because they are really nice. So there's his autograph whiteout ink on the uh, on that helmet. Extra sticker right there. I mean, it's a great looking helmet too. I don't know. The I don't know. I mean, these are really nice helmets, though. Issued to players. So, yeah, th this, these might be helmets that they actually... So, most of the time when we do these full-size helmets, they're often just, you know... I mean, they're nice, but they're not... They're like replica helmets. You know, nice replicas, but probably ones that you're not going to use on the field. They'll, in fact, there'll be a card that says, don't use on the field. These are not field helmets, but it looks like these ones are. That's awesome. I mean, you can already tell if you, if you when you get it, who has a Cleveland Browns? When you get it, it you'll actually feel the weight on it. That goes to Stephen K with the Browns-Commanders combo. Nice. Joe said he never, he never signed cards? So that, there might be a lot more value to this than we think. All right, I'm gonna actually put this away a little bit later. Let's do that bat. And then we are done. Thanks everybody for getting in. We have one more of these in the store. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. So this is random team four. Random team five will be the last one we'll be able to do in this configuration. So if you like this configuration, it's the last one we can do here. Pretty well packed, which is good. Maybe not 
good for a group break, though. Got it? All right, got the name on the end of that cap. Let's play one last round of Who Am I? I am a retired baseball player, currently 56 years old, former first baseman. A Hall of Famer, got in on my seventh ballot, 86.2% of the vote. Played for one team my entire career, a lifetime 297 batting average, 2,314 hits, 449 home runs, over 1,500 runs batted in, 1,529. A four time uh, All Star, an NL MVP, an NL Rookie of the Year, a Gold Glove Award winner, a three time Silver Slugger. NLRBI leader. Who am I? He is, this player is, is a player in sort of in the modern era. This, this might go down as one of the worst trades. He was part of one of the worst trades in history. He was originally drafted by the Red Sox in 1989. There you go, Steve Herrick's got it. Originally drafted Jeff Bagwell in the fourth round of the 1989 Major League Baseball draft, and then it was eventually traded and then um, became, you know, an excellent Hall of Famer, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. It's Jeff Bagwell. There you go. Nice. Miguel Vargas with a home run as well. There he is. Jeff Bagwell, silver ink on the black bat. That's awesome. Pretty clean, not game used. It seems kind of light for it to be a Jeff Bagwell bat as well. But that's really awesome. Part of the Killer Bees as well, and part of the Astros back when they were in the NL. Um, but Steve was not thrown off the scent. Astros is going to be Eric Clicks with a spot that he won in the filler. Gets the Astros, gets the Jeff Bagwell bat. And there you have it. We got another one of these in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.